rapid fire pace all, all week. You know, we probably had 110, 115 snaps a day. Uh, the scout team and uh, to try to make up for that that day that we missed. And, uh, I think that, that showed a little bit. Really impressed with, uh, again, our guys up front. and uh, The secondary really impressed me. Uh, just the physicality, uh, the alignments, the reads, and we weren't uh, perfect, but um, not sitting here beating our chest, but I just really thought they put on a great f performance in the back end and really helped set the edge and uh, uh, you know made some really good plays with the ball in the air. And uh, they're gonna. That's a very stressful offense to defend, you know, with their ability to run the football and their play action passes with a variety of formations and who's eligible, who's not. There's just a, a lot there. Um, it looks basic maybe on the outside looking in. I don't know, but it really isn't. And uh, there's, it's, it's, it's a lot of precision uh, that needs to take place, you know, uh, with, with all 11. But uh, the guys up front, ultimately, uh, if you're not disruptive there, uh, they can have their way with you. And I thought our guys, Christian on the first play, kind of set that, that tone uh, for the night. And, uh, but real proud of our guys. Uh, and, and again, our the scout team guys and the coaches. Again, we've, we're 4 0. We won one ACC game. Uh, you know, we did break a streak. Uh, you know, that was one of the first questions I remember hearing. Of course, that was before we played Auburn. You can't win in Atlanta. We would beat Auburn then. And I was told that you know, two years later, I guess three years later, we did, is the first time we, we played over here and uh, lost in 14. But anyway, it's. It's neat to, to have our seniors, you know, have that as part of their legacy, uh, being able to kind of stop that streak. It's a program. This is a, a tough place to play, and they beat a lot of good teams here. And Coach uh, Johnson and his staff do a, a terrific job uh, with their guys and their system. So, uh, again, our guys deserve to take 24 hours and feel good about themselves and their performance. Do you call it a party in the backfield? Did you agree with that? <laughs> I don't know about it. Uh, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Be careful. You got to play these guys next year again. So, uh, no, they did a good job. I thought the penetration, uh, you know, quick reads and staying on our feet, you know. I uh, thought they did a good, we did a good job, you know, for the most part, you know. In your, in your scout team preparation, mm -hmm. did, did you see the kind of dominance up front from your defense? Front? <laughs> I told them don't cross face and quit knocking guys back into me and like, let them lock you. <laughs> so, uh, and that's hard for them, you know, because uh, otherwise you don't get anything done. Right. Like, I know you can make the play. I know you can whoop them. So uh, that's actually like the conversation, you know, let me throw, you know, I'm going to see if the secondary is in good position here. And uh, so they they do a good job too, you know, just because you got to be able to play your gap, you know. And and, uh, and against these guys on game day, it's not very often you're going to just you know cross face whenever you want. You got to you got to play with discipline, you know. So I don't. There's part of that in practice that you like. I think that they get, you know, too. So our, uh, Dan and uh, Marion and uh, Coach Hobby, uh, those guys do an amazing job. You know, getting their guys ready. You know, there's no magical calls. You get, guys got to again, got to do all the little things right and play with toughness and the discipline. That's that's the player's decision. And uh, but uh, it's a, it is a big deal. You know how they practice and, and practicing with discipline is a big part of that. Yeah. You have a lot of guys in out of the front four. You know, did you have a lot of? Uh, confidence in those guys going out on the edge, you know, Register and and, uh, and Jurgen. Yeah, I mean, those guys are all part of that second group, so we don't, we, you know, and they've slowly uh, but surely have, have come on and have earned the, the opportunities to play. And again, up front, those are bigger guys. And so, you know, their ability to play 70 snaps might be different than guys in that back seven. And um, so I think that, you know, for us to feel like we've got a good team and a good defense, I think you got to have some depth, you know, and whether it's eight guys or nine guys or we might be getting closer to ten, you know, we're right around there. And uh, it was great for those guys to get in there and, and, and play pretty well. You gave up more rushing yards this year, but do you consider this to maybe be the more dominant of the, of the performances <laughs> the past two? Um, what did we do last year? I don't know. I thought it was two strong performances. I wouldn't say one over the other, but you felt like uh, until that third quarter. Do we live on the field? What's the time of possession in the third minutes. quarter? Yeah. There, you know, part of you didn't mind them chewing the clock, you know, uh, but it was pretty agonizing too. So, uh, 
but in the big picture, I, I, I thought that, uh, again, our guys had some amazing plays in the game uh, that felt tighter than a year ago. That game last year didn't feel quite as tight. Uh, you know, offensively, they were uh, going up and down the field. So they're both strong performances, I thought. Brent, if you had to worry about a short week this week, is the backside payment of that that you're not going to come back for days start? Yeah, but we got to go recruit, you know. I wish, I wish, I'm I'm with you. I wish I could go and watch Louisville all day tomorrow, but uh, but I can't. So, but I do think mentally it's a good, you know, uh, little break, and uh, we're going to need all of it, you know, because uh, it sounds like and looks like we're going to have our hands full. So uh, they're playing great, probably as good, if not better than anybody right now in the country. So. Uh, we'll get to that, but it is nice, um, and uh, but uh, we'll try to get a few hours jump on them anyway. What do you think you guys were keyed in on that enabled you to come out and have such a strong start tonight? I uh, just want, it isn't one one thing. It's, there's just a lot of things. Everybody doing their job and doing it with a sense of desperation and the physical toughness and the, the mental uh, discipline that it takes too. Again, eye control, alignments, adjustments. And again, we weren't perfect, you know. Uh, Georgia Tech will probably tell you that our success was because of something.